In this video, I'm going to go over the advanced skill in Microsoft Word 2010 of using the application to mark students' work digitally using comments and also tracking changes among shared documents. This is very useful tools, or these are very useful tools when you want to mark students' work digitally. So, if you imagine that this is Michael Smith's work and Michael is a student who saved his work for me on a shared area or you might have emailed me this work so that I can open it up. What I can do is if I want to mark Michael's work, I can use the review pane at the top here in the uh, ribbon to do quite a few things actually. First of all, I can use this new comment feature. And to use that, what I might do is I might look at Michael's work and say, well, this paragraph actually needs some work. It needs um, some more added to it. So I could select and highlight all of this paragraph and I can add a new comment. Now, notice that on the comment it says M1. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to leave a comment on uh, Michael's work uh, under the heading of M1. So, if I just write here, Michael, you need to extend this paragraph. If I then save this document and then give the document back to Michael, again, either through email or on a shared area, Michael will see this comment that I have made. That's one use of uh, the review tab. Another very useful uh, feature of the review tab is the track changes button that appears here in the tracking options. If I click on this button, uh, nothing seems to happen. But what actually is happening now is that whatever I add to this document now will be tracked. If I just explain, if I go down to this paragraph and instead of actually writing a comment here for Michael to add, what I might want to do is actually extend this paragraph for him. So if I say um, Excel is a spreadsheet application, you can see that what it's doing is doing two things. It's putting this little black line here in the margin, and it's also changing the text color automatically to red and underline. This means that it's actually me changing this document. And if I save this again and send it to Michael, when Michael opens it up, he'll actually see these changes. Okay, so he'll open it up, it'll look exactly like this. But if he clicks on the review pane here, he'll see that this comment was made by me, Mark, and it was, uh, I also inserted a, um, a, a change to the document, which is this here, and again, that was by me, Mark. If he opens that, he will see exactly the same information here. He can use this option in the tracking uh, section to click on here and show the final document. The final document will take away the comments and it will unhighlight this but keep it in the document. So again, the comment is gone but it's kept this line of text I've added. Uh, if, if he chooses the original, what that will do is it will take out everything so it has no comments and no additional tracking that I've added. And he can obviously print these out as well. So if he keeps it at the original and goes to file print, this will print out the original. You can see here, look, that there are no comments and the extra bit of text that I wrote on this paragraph is not there. If he goes to final and then goes to print, you can see that there's no comments, but the extra line of text that I've written in this paragraph does appear. If he goes to final with markup or show markup and then goes to print, what you will see is you will see the comment and the additional line of text that I wrote here. So he has options in which to, to print this document out for reviewing. One thing that I can't show you in this video because I haven't set it up so that I can log out and log back in is uh, with a different user account is that if Michael then opens up this document, he too can have, uh, add his own tracking to this document and save it and then send it back to me and so that when I open it up, not only will my comments be in here and they say mark, but in a different colour, any additions that Michael has made and any comments that Michael has made will also appear in here as a different colour, such as blue. So as you can see, adding the new comments and tracking changes in the review tab of Microsoft Word 2010 is a very useful tool if you want to mark work digitally. So in this video, we've discussed and demonstrated marking students' work digitally using comments and tracking changes among shared documents.